Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me S Pen for Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about 18 best features for S Pen. So guys, let's start. The first feature is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, I attach my pen for charging and I am having a lecture or I am watching a video. Now I want to write down some important information about this lecture. I will just remove my S Pen from behind. It will directly open the Samsung notes and here I can start taking my notes. But you can see this app is blocking the view behind. So I will just select this blue bar then I select this opacity icon and then I can reduce the opacity so here you can see now I can see the video behind and I can also take my notes the next thing is if you want to do the screen recording of your note taking and the video you can also do it just bring down this panel select the screen recorder option then start recording so after this countdown it will screen record your note taking and it will also record the video behind the next thing is you can also use this pen option from the screen recorder so if I just select it now I can highlight anything important in the video if I want to highlight so here you can see I can even highlight on my note taking app as well the next thing is you can also turn on the front camera if you want to uh, record uh, your video as well so just select this icon from here so here you can see the front camera is now turned on so once you finish with your screen recording just stop it once you stop it it will automatically save in your gallery and later you can access it and you can share it the next feature is about creating fast access to any qr code barcode or any other important information let's say i will go to my gallery and here i have this document and i want to save this qr code now what I will do, I will just select this air command icon, I just select this smart select option and then here I will select this QR code like this. Now what I can do, I can pin it. So here is the pin option, I just select it. So here you can see it pinned to my screen. Now even if I go to my home screen, if I open any other app, this barcode, this QR code is available. But you can see it is blocking uh, the view behind so what you can do is just select it and once you select it here you see this option of minimize just select it once you select it it will make it more smaller so now i can easily access any app and then if i want to open it i just select it it will become bigger and i can access it the next feature is about exporting text to your notes for example i open this website and i have this text now i want to export this part of text to my notes so I will just press and hold my S Pen button and then I start selecting the text okay so I just select till here now you can see here it is giving me the option of add to note just select it once you select it it will directly add to your Samsung notes and it will also show you the link so here is the link on top so you can directly access this website if you want to remove this link you can just press and hold it and then you can delete it now you can also edit this text you can highlight it if you want to highlight some important information and you can also share it the next feature is about unlock the tablet using s pen so i will just lock my tablet so if i want to unlock it i will just press this s pen button one time like this and you see it will unlock it and it will also bypass the security the next feature is about taking screenshot and highlighting some important information for example I will open the internet browser and here I have some text now I want to take a screenshot what I will do is I will just press and hold my S Pen button and I will do this kind of air action and here you can see it will take the screenshot for me now here I can just select this highlighter and then I can select any color so for example I select this color and now I want to highlight some important information 
from uh, this screenshot okay so i just select it now i can share it here is the share icon so i can share it with my friends with my colleagues by using s pen the next feature is about using your s pen as a remote control for example if i press and hold my s pen button like this it will turn on the camera now i want to flip it to the uh, selfie camera so i will just move my s pen in the air like this so here you can see it will change it to the selfie camera now i want to take a picture so just in the air i will press my s pen button like this and here you can see it take the picture for me i can also move to the video mode by just swiping in the air like this so here you can see now it turn on the video mode now if i want to record this video again i will press this s pen button like this and here you can see it start recording if i want to stop this recording again i will press this s pen button it will stop the recording now for example if i want to go to the more option so again i will swipe in the air like this it will go to the more option so here we have this pro pro video single take so there are different options available if i want to go back i will just move like this in the air it will go back to the video mode again it will go to the photo and then if i do it like this it will go to the portrait mode the next feature is about handwriting to text for example i open internet browser in the url section i will cut it now i want to open another website so i will use my s pen to write the name of website for example i will write here samsung.com so here you see it will convert it into the text and then i select this go option and then it will open the website for me same way i can search anything in the google search bar i will go back so here for example i search brain anatomy so here you see it will convert it into the uh, text and then simply if you want you just select it then press enter and then it will show you the results the next feature is about extracting text from image for example i open my gallery and i open this image so here you can see there is some text so what i will do i just select this t icon it will highlight the text and now i can use my s pen so i can make it bigger and then i press and hold like this okay so once you press and hold it like this it will give you three different option copy select all or share for example i select this select all option it will select all the text and now you can copy it or you can share it so for example if i just select this share icon it will give you different platforms so you can share it in the samsung notes you can share it with your colleagues using the gmail option or you can use the quick share option as well the next feature is about translation for example i open a website and here you can see some information in english and some information in japanese so sometimes it is very difficult to translate so what you can do is you can use the translation feature just select this air command icon then select this translate from here it will open the translate option and here it is showing japanese to english now what you have to do just bring your pen closer to the text just hover it like this and it will translate it for you so here you can see it is showing recommended products now for example i just select this text and here you can see it is showing smartphone and if i bring my pen closer to this text and here you can see it is translating it to tablet so this is how you can use your s pen for the translation the next feature is about dragging image and text into notes for example i open internet browser and here on google i search some images now i will take out the edge panel and i will open samsung notes in split screen view now for example i want to bring some image into my notes i will just use my s pen i press and hold the image and i can easily drag it like this and then if you want you can make it size bigger and if you want you can also rotate it the next thing is same way you can also bring any text for example i open a website and here i have some text so for example i have this text and i want to bring it into my notes i will just press and hold it like this and i will just select it like that then again i will press and hold it and i can simply drag it into my notes so here you can see 
I'm just dragging it and I can easily put into my notes. Guys, you can also bring a full website into your notes as well. For example, I open this website and here I open a new note. So at the bottom, it is giving me the option of link or whole page. I just select this whole page option. Now it start adding this whole website into my notes. It will also bring all the text and all the images as well. So here you can see this is the website. Uh, in the notes okay and here you can see it is also showing uh, the images okay so everything from this website is available here in my notes now i can do all the editing using my s pen if i want to highlight something if i want to write something i can also write any text if i want to create some kind of shape i can also do it the next feature is about glass mode so if you want to switch between different apps you can use this option for example i open this website now i just select this air command icon and then i select this glass option from here so here you can see the website now become like a thumbnail over here now what you can do you can open any other app for example i open samsung notes app and i want to take notes but you can see the thumbnail is still available so what i can do i just hover my pen closer to this thumbnail so it will open the website for me again and then if i remove my pen like this it will again open the notes so this will be really helpful if you want to switch between different apps if you want to write down some important information about some numbers about uh, some figures so this will be really helpful the next feature is about magnify. So if you are having a trouble reading long paragraph or small text, you can use this option. For example, I open uh, this website and here you can see we have a lot of text. Just select this air command icon, select this magnify and now just bring your pen closer to the text. So here you can see now you can read it properly. You can also change its size from here. So we have different option you can select from here and you can also read text from images as well. For example, I have uh, this image. So here you can see we have very small uh, text. So you just bring your pen closer and now you can read it properly. So this is how you can use the magnify option through your S Pen. The next feature is about screen of memo. For example, your tablet is logged and you want to write some important reminder or appointment and you are in a hurry. Just press and hold this S Pen button, tap on the screen two times like this, it will open the screen of memo and here you can write any important reminder or appointment and once you finish you can just save it it will save into your samsung notes the next feature is about writing on calendar so i will open the calendar and here you see this pen icon just select it now you can use your s pen to write anything important on your calendar for example for this specific date i want to write some important reminder i will just write it you can also change the pen from here if you want to change the color you can also change different color you can also change the thickness and then for example i want to write something important for this date i can also write once you finish you can just save it the next feature is about signing a PDF document. So you can sign any PDF document, use your S Pen with Samsung Notes. I open the Samsung Notes. Here is the PDF plus icon, just select it. And then you can select your PDF file. For example, I have this PDF file. I just select it, then I will press done. And here you can see I have this PDF file. And for example, here I want to sign. So I can just use any tool from here and then I can just sign it. So once you finish then what you can do is just select these three dots just select save as file option and then you can save it as a pdf file or any other uh, file then if you want you can directly share from here just select these three dots again here is the share icon then you can select whichever file you want for example i want it as pdf file and then it will show you all the different platforms where you can share your pdf file the next feature is about live messages so you can use your s pen to create social media content just select uh, this air command icon then select this live messages option and then here for example i just uh, selected and then select this st start drawing 
an option and then from here you can select any pen for example I select this pen and now I can draw anything like this and then once you finish with all your drawing then press done and it will play for you and then you can share these type of messages in social media the next feature is about writing on your videos for example I open my gallery and I have this video now I want to write something on my video what I will do I just select this pen icon it will take me to the edit option and then here I select this emoji icon and here you see I have draw option and here I have this pen option so you can just select it and you can write anything on your video the next thing is you can also use the live option so I just select this live option now if I want to write anything I can write over here and then if you want to change the pen color the pen and you can also change the thickness so then I will uh, write here with my S pen like this so once you finish doing it just press done and then you can play it and this is how it will show you so this is how you can write on your video so this will be really helpful if you want to make some kind of lecture some kind of demonstration the next feature is about S Pen customization so first of all go to the settings and then go to the advanced features so here is the advanced features then go to the S Pen from here so here we have all S Pen settings available for example if you want to customize air actions just select it and here we have all air action customization options if you go back then here we have more S Pen settings available so if you want to charge your S Pen so you have to attach it at the back side so here is the area for the charging just attach it like this it will attach magnetically and here it will also show you that your pen is attached and now it is charging so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much